What is going on you guys? Blake Gink coming at you for another video and uh, tonight should be pretty fun because the weather's looking pretty good out tonight finally. So we're taking the 97 Cobra out to Mustang Lifestyles meet tonight and uh, breaking the clutch a little bit more. But um, also, since the weather's nice out, be prepared soon guys because uh, if y'all didn't see, I bought some Binky Thompson drag radials for the Mach 1. I got them for my birthday and uh, I will be uh, putting some content out really soon with this car but because of the weather like I said I haven't been able to drive this thing it's been too dangerous so and it wouldn't be any fun spin city you know so uh, yeah let's go ahead and get the uh, 97 Cobra out to the meet and also real quick guys before I uh, get going I want to do a cold start on the car but just to let you guys know that it's got a slight exhaust leak coming from the driver's side the the manifolds to the H-pipe the studs are really rusted and they're completely jacked up you, I can't put any nuts on it so the flange is basically like barely on there. So uh, it's on there, but you can still kind of hear it inside. But my dad said that uh, the exhaust uh, leak isn't really that noticeable outside. So we'll find out, but here's a cold start for y'all. behind me he's on my bumper right now Andrew bought his GT500 out. I've been dying to see this thing again in person ever since he broke it. Freaking monster. Of course, a boosted 350. 50 Then my buddy showed up tonight. This is his uh, Roush 360R. I'll show you guys what wheels he got. If you guys don't no, I actually bought the drag setup off of him, but he ended up getting Celine's on here. So, uh, really, really nice setup. Yeah, a little supercharged two valve Roush. Coming up, we might have to uh, run it here against the old Mach 1 to see uh, what could happen. All right, this is cool. I didn't see this before, but Ford Explorer. And that uh that livery i forgot what it's called but really freaking cool What? <laughs> oh, oh, that old thing? Nah, it's just slow. <laughs> it don't matter. It looks nice as fuck. Well, I appreciate that, buddy. Yeah, everyone here is on freaking drag packs, and I'm sitting here trying to just do a clutch, break it in. But yeah, this is her. How long have you had the clutch in it? Uh, three weeks, four weeks, something like that, maybe. How many months have you been on so far? I haven't kept track. No. Odometers, uh, odometer don't work. Classic uh, oh, SN95. Yeah. Uh, thing so if I had to guess maybe around 200 probably yeah I might pull real quick yeah, yeah this is it hell yeah man just stock it's my favorite intake manifold I love the way it looks 
Nice and clean too, freaking two hundred thousand miles, shit. Oh no, that's not two hundred thousand. Oh no. Oh, I thought you said two hundred. Oh no, like hell no. It's a hundred and like forty ish something. Oh okay, okay. I thought you were saying about two hundred k on it. Oh no, 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 no. No, she got some miles on her, yeah, but she ain't got really that nice much. One forty, man. Yeah, we appreciate it. Yes, this is uh, this is his pride and joy right here. He loves this thing more than the Termi yeah. for sure. That's his dream car, but this right here, this it's is just like a car he has too many memories with. Yeah, that that and the fact that uh. Just, it's never given him any problems, you know? Yeah. It's just always been his, like, his, his old gal pal, oh, I guess I like to call it. You know what I'm saying? Well, uh, I already told them, but uh, I said that we'll we'll probably uh, do oh, a couple yeah. runs in with the mock and the two-valve Roush. We gotta get some runs in that. That would be freaking sick. 100% I, I actually raced against a boosted two-valve. Um, really? It was Pro Charge. I didn't know what he made. Mm -hmm. He said he just slapped it on. He just wanted to see what he was, you know, what he, what he said he was yeah. capable of. He got me, but it wasn't by much. Yeah, so you were like neck and neck with him? I wasn't neck and neck. He was slowly getting me. So he might be 410, probably, something like that. Your mock is built, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's built. It's built. She's ready for boost, but she ain't. Yeah. She ain't boost. I was next so. to someone at Mustang Leaf or whatever. He had an 01 Cobra motor in his car or whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a four valve swap. And he had the same exact shit as mine. It was Oxford White, New Edge, like the same year, pretty much almost like the same rims too like black and shit like that me and him raced and he wasn't supercharged yet like if he was supercharged he would have had me but like man i freaking pulled on his ass he was i was gone but okay all right well yeah it's gonna be a good race then this you'd have me for sure you would have me for think, sure in this Right. Oh, now, Jesus. Uh, you're going to have to rev it up and influencing you because he's recording it. So. <laughs> I'm a bad influencer. <laughs> Finally got a spot. Now I can finally show the Cobra on the freaking light. Heck yeah. Oh yeah. All right, boys. So this is what I'm up against. I'm up against a positive displacement blower on a two valve. So buddy, go ahead and talk about it. So uh, 1.5 Eaton supercharger, uh, six pounds of boost. Nothing really done to it from what I know other than exhaust. Other than that, it's pretty much stock from how it came. So what are these rated at the factory? 360. 360. Yeah, 360R, so 360 and 375 uh, uh, torque cell. Okay, you guys I'm heard not, it. I'm not exactly sure if that's dyno proven. I've seen a couple videos and some dude put in the description it was stock and he dynoed at 360, 370 or something like that. Oh, wow. But, you know, he didn't show the thing, so that could be complete bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So, as far as I know, I think 360 to the wheel, but that could be crank. But I'm assuming. Wheels. All right, guys, you heard it here. So uh, drop your comments. What you think who's gonna run? I actually don't know exactly what I make 100%. I was told 370 wheel. So uh, anyway, yeah, it should be a good race. It's gonna be a good so y'all stick around for that because that's gonna be a lot of fun for the both of us. That's gonna be. It. Hey guys, welcome back. This is uh, the next day following after that meet. So the meet was pretty fun like it always is, but uh, there were a lot of cops there last night. They were they were really looking to get somebody. Uh, state troopers kept coming in and out and stuff. It just it just wasn't really kind of a bus kill in that way. So nobody really did a whole lot. So I, I wasn't able to get a whole lot of uh, footage, but what's really cool today is I'm going to be meeting my buddy Brian again in his 360R Roush. And uh, I'm going to put the Mach 1 to work today, guys, like I told y'all. 
today we're gonna try and get these two cars out there and uh, see what they can do you know it's uh I haven't been able to really test this car out yet and um, especially on the radials we might do some digs I'm not too sure we'll have to talk about it but he's got street tires I don't feel like changing those so we'll see how it goes but I can't hook on my street tires anyway if we do any low rolls I can only hook sometimes in 60 up so uh, that's my best bet for hooking down low. So we'll see what happens. But anyway, guys, uh, talk to y'all in a minute. Can't be a Mustang video without a cold start, right? Done uh, doing the races. We did what? 240 rolls, 240s, and a and a 60 roll. 
and uh, his two valve got me, guys. So really cool runs. How'd you feel, dude? What do you think was gonna happen? Honestly, dude, I thought you were gonna end up having me. You know, having uh, what you have on that and having the four valve. I really did think you're gonna have the advantage. Yeah, well, I'm telling you, dude. I, that blower, it just uh, you probably you just got a lot more torque probably than I do. That's probably the dude. Every time I drive this car, it surprises me every day. Oh, I agree, dude. I'm like that little. Everyone's always this on the two valve, man. I'm, I'm, I'm loving this. Thing. It's fucking great. Yeah, this this thing right here, guys. Uh, supercharged two two valve. This is a 1.5 liter, right? Yep. And it's an Eaton. Yep. Yeah, 1.5 Eaton. This car is completely stock, man. Yeah, All right, guys. So y'all saw it. The Mach 1 and the Roush 2 valve freaking had a great time and it was really cool. What we're going to have to do is, because I was told by the previous owner of the Mach 1, if you guys don't know about the car, the car was pretty much already just built and everything. I was just lucky enough to find the car with it done. But he told me it was claimed at 370 wheel horsepower, so I've just stuck with that. I haven't had dyno sheets or nothing because with COVID, I wasn't able to get any paperwork or anything for it. So that's what I've always stuck with. But uh, from that little run, either his car is rated at wheel horsepower or is underrated or my car doesn't make what it does. But either way, I think me and you need to go a dyno day. Dude, we have to do a dyno day, make a video out of it and shit like that. If anybody knows a dyno day around Orange City, Orlando, anything right there, let us know because me and him want to go do that. Like, Yeah, because I want to know what the car makes. He, wanted, he wants to know what the car makes and I think it'll be a lot of fun. But thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content and uh, keep on watching for more two valve and more Mach 1 content. Thank you guys.